forget to subscribe our channel and for today's section i have just uh, some of the images so this is one of the color image brain image another color image okay so these are some of the images today we are going to apply over here so from that two images you might have seen uh, one is this one so this is not required another one this is also not required okay so this uh, with the help of this part i have uh, got into the particular matlab so for first let us see how to load that particular image and how to save that particular image over here so uh, here i have a particular image like uh, this is a basic uh, loading of value which we have seen initially so first i am doing that im read in order to read that image and displaying that image using im show and after that to display the details uh, like the whose command so for that only here we have provided this particular function and after that what are the image that has been read we are renaming it and saving over here itself so this is known as im right uh, we are calling the right function and therefore providing the name in which name it has to be written so previously i have done and that particular image has been stored over here so for your reference i am just deleting it now i am running the code so this will be that particular image and that image has been saved over here now if we get back into the yeah so therefore that particular image is there and uh, similarly will also show with any other image whenever uh, we are providing the image as input the most important thing is the format and its name that is the most important thing now here i have given into the 1.jpg and it is getting converted into a.png okay so therefore it has been converted can also be said as overwritten so in this way also the format conversion also can be done using this im write function so this is used in multiple places on the basis of image uploading or image processing sections to change out the particular format so this is an basic application and here we can see that particular whose the size of the image 768 into 1024 into 3 so the depth of the image is 3 length into head uh, length into breadth it is 768 into 1024 so this is known as the basic image reading as well as writing as we have seen on the reading and that particular reading inside the gui now next so here we are going to see how to get an input image and after that how that particular image will be converted into the gray scale and how to flip that particular image in different axes so first i am providing clc clear all close all to clear all the previous data i am read the respective image to be read i am show uh, for original image which is known as the rgb to convert an image into gray scale it is very simple in matlab you have to use only this command rgb to gray and within bracket the parameter which you have to convert it so therefore here we have provided as a as the variable and that variable only here we have done as the call and therefore now the conversion will be done and the converted image will be stored in b finally i am show b and therefore displaying the gray image now how to flip that particular image so here uh, the variable it has been provided as horizontal flip dimension is the command so within that which image you are going to flip means the image which contains color or the original image comma 1 if you provide it as 1 means the horizontal flip will be taken place okay the same thing for vertical if you click uh, if you provide the image comma 2 vertical flip so now i am just going to execute so vertical flip image uh, it is very it has also been uh, placed over here but the thing is some additional figure also has been displayed so this is vertically flipped horizontally flipped gray scale and the original image so now everything is in orange uh, you guys will be uh, feeling little bit difficult to find out the flippings so now i will just change the image okay so figure 4 so this is gray scale and this is the original so check this original as well as the final image so you can see the neck of this particular penguin how the direction has been changed vertically and therefore the other thing so this is horizontal flipping so now it is clear that how that functions are done and this is the way we will be converting an image into the gray scale here we have two different kinds of bit plane separation so how to separate that particular bit planes uh, bit planes are nothing but known as the plane separation so here inside an image we have uh, three different colors known as rgb so how to separate the three colors and recombine it okay 
So now uh, here I will be taking one image. I will be taking a color image. Let us take that penguin image itself. So that particular image will be taken as uh, input section. After that particular input section, here we have to declare the three planes for different colors. So first one for RC is known as red color, red channel, G for green and uh, BC for blue. So this particular thing, here we have to declare their separations. Okay, so generally once whenever you are working inside the image processing, the most important thing is to know that R, G, B. Okay, so whenever we are just going for this kind of uh, variable declarations or finding out the positions. So therefore the first position stands for R, second position for G and third position for B. So based on that only we will be splitting the colors like 255, 255, 255. So this is the common separation of the colors inside the RGB section. But here we are going to separate the plane from a total uh, based of sections like uh, multiple different colors of a particular image. And from there we are going to separate only single single plane over there which contains a complete combination. So that particular combination only here it is applied. So for that, here we have to apply that particular variable and for that particular variable, we have to convert into the matrix form. Okay, that's why only here for red color to take the first position here, we have given it as third order. Then for green color, the third order itself second like RGB and for blue, it will be taking it as third order. Now, this particular data, we have to apply with the matrix section. So here zeros, it is nothing but the matrix point. And the matrix point itself here we are deciding the size So size of the variable of first position second position okay and the third position will be taken as unsigned integer 8 so this complete data will be in the form of unsigned integer 8 and finally we have to take this in the form of the different combinations so how the combinations are taken like red and cat is one of the function where the separation is done Okay, so this particular function here, we have to take the three planes from the three planes, the first one for red, green and blue. Okay, so here if I enter it as RC means it stands for red and this stands for the function known as red plane separation. Then coming for the green, this is known as green plane. So here AB indicates a zero where both the two characters will be in the form of null. So that is known as the matrix in the form of zeros. So once whenever we combine with that zeros means only this particular plane will be highlighted out of the three planes. So similarly for blue. Okay. So wherever we are extracting the exact color. So that place only here we will be calling the functions and rest of them is combined in the form of zeros. Then how to recombine it. So for that recombining this will be the process like within a single parameter we have to apply all the colors known as RC, GC and BC because these particular planes only it is being separated for separate uh, for different applications. Now, so the first thing it will be uh, plotting it as red separation over there in the form of subplot. So here uh, subplot it is little bit difficult because it will be seeing a small. So I'm taking the subplot once after showing you the exact output. I will show what is subplot over here. Now for what and all the images we have converted that should be placed over here. I am show red. I am show green. I am show blue. I am show reconstruction. Okay. This is original. I mean the recombined one. Okay. So everything has been so quick. So to show that particular separate. Yeah. So now everything is displayed. Okay. So this is nothing but the figure. Figure one, which is known as the red separation alone. So from this, we are separating only the red plane. And I hope everyone knows what is this particular original image. So this is nothing but the green separation. And this is nothing but the blue separation and therefore this is nothing but recombine or known as the original image. So this is one format. So the other kind of function it is nothing but this way also we can use it So for same image but same process. So like uh, here the subplot is there. So subplot is nothing but within a single window plotting the multiple images. Okay. So here we are providing that uh, clear CLC everything training that image. So first subplot will be uh, pasting that particular image. So what does uh, this particular subplot indicates means two rows, two columns and its position. Okay. 
So the same thing for other uh, kinds of subplots. Therefore, the first thing, first we have to read that particular image. After reading that, we have to declare the variable for red, green and blue. For red, here we will be applying 2 is to 3. This is one of the ratio. And similarly for green, 1 ratio as well as 3 ratio will be applied. And for blue, 1 is to 2 and the 2 ratio also will be applied. So based on this only, each and every subplots also will be provided. But this particular calculation is a little bit complex. So better we can go for the first version of a bit plane separation. But in order to show the different methods, I have chosen this. So the same result only, whatever we have. Now everyone will be having a doubt. Whether the scan image, whatever we are seeing, uh, like CT scan or MRI scan. So whether that image also is possible for separation? Yes, definitely. So for that, here I have a brain tumor image. Uh, let me check what is the name of the image. Yeah, so it's image name is 3. That particular image also has this features. Recombine blue plane. You can see it has been applied only to that image. Green and red. So for all the images, this color separation is applicable. Even though that particular images are in gray color, that is also a kind of combination only where RGB is the only application which we can see with the multiple features. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.